Hello everyone, my name is Ajit Channel and this is my certification course for Google Forms. So, we are supposed to make a quiz. Well, I'm in 8th standard campaign school. We are supposed to make a quiz on our favorite subject, mine is maths. So, to create a form with the details of which had name, email, questions related to the topic which is minimum 5, they should be of various types, proper settings and validations wherever required. We have to set the correct answer for each question and give 2 points for each correct answer. Um, so anyways, uh, I've added the email address, uh, I will, it must be a valid one in this case, so I'll put in my valid email address, as you can see there's no red, red uh, surrounding it, that means it is proper, uh, I have to type my name. Oh yeah, and the way I'm attempting it like this is by sending it to myself uh, through the form by sending it to yourself you can. Okay, so what is 70 into 24? Mm, uh, I think it's this one. Factors of 2 are 1 and 2. The number which is neither prime nor composite is 1. Or rather it must be a number in this case, so I'll type the number 1. Uh, I think it is 2401. And uh, 51. Uh, this one I'm putting wrong on purpose. So, viewing my score like this, I got 6 out of 10 as I put this one wrong. Uh, this one was right, this one was right, this one was right, and this one was again wrong. Also, as you can see, I got 6 points as each question was for 2 marks. Uh, and I made it using Google Forms. Or uh, the way you can do it is. Uh, uh, so over here you have this option of add question uh, so you can add one like this so as you can see it leaves the bottom so you can choose short answer would be for something like name or e name or paragraph would be for like a long answer for feedback multiple choices so that you can only select one check boxes you can select multiple uh, and in this case uh, and so basically you can use all of those to create the quiz and as you can see it received a response from earlier so I got 6 and then see you can see my responsible my responses to each and as you can see all questions were mandatory because they had a red asterisk at the end and if they were no mandatory they would not have and I've just left that extra question on I should delete it or uh, I'll delete it quickly like this You can delete it by clicking this. And that is how I did it. So, thank you for watching my practical. Please certify it quickly. And see you in the next practical or certification course.